to episode five of the RC Step System. Earlier on today, I had a session and I took 5350 profit and I had seven wins, four losses. So I'm gonna clear this data out. I've got a few tables tracking here. I'm gonna use the area key again. I'm actually really enjoying this. If you're new to this, the area key is a tool by roulette calculators. There's several uh, tools on this platform. There will be a link at the top right hand corner of your screen if you want to check out the info page about these tools. So we've got pragmatic tables open earlier. Uh, sorry, earlier we was using evolution and now we're doing pragmatic tables. Just like to mix it up a little bit. So let's have a look at the first table, Turkish roulette. The highlighted section has gone once and the unhighlighted four times. She's currently on a depth of, uh, probably he, <laughs> is currently on a depth of two. So you can see that's gone to a depth of two and it's at a depth of two again. Now the area key for those who don't know is the tool that measures the uh, dealer basically seeing if the ball gets spun back to the same vicinity as where they're spinning it from or to the opposite side. Now in this case at the moment it's looking like the dealer is spinning it more to the opposite side, to the unhighlighted area of the wheel. So I'm just going to uh, watch this. Now that's gone to the highlighted, so very even. It's gone to a depth of uh, two. We always minus one off of the first entry and then to a depth of two again. So that's one to keep an eye on. Let's have a look at a few other tables. This is five and five, but we have a look. We're looking for patterns, so a depth of one, zero. The zero basically means it's gone from the highlighted section to the highlighted section. Zero, zero, two, zero. Currently on a depth of two again. It's a little bit scatty for my liking. This is seven and two. Um, so a depth of one, depth of four, currently on a depth of two. This one could be in for the running and that would be betting on the unhighlighted sections. That's roulette green. I'll check that out in a minute. Five and two, that's a zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero currently on a zero as well now again that's a very very good table russian roulette that is uh, i like to see that okay four and a six a little bit messy there four and a five very messy um basically when i say messy it just means there's not really any consistency she went to a depth of four and then went to a depth of one now zero is zero and currently on zero so um so look at this the depth count dc stands for depth count this helps indicate if the dealer is favoring one side of the wheel more than the other and the depth of wins is also very useful because sometimes the table is a multi-direction spin table and they might be doing well on one particular direction but not on the other okay so this is six and four right so let's go back uh i think that turkish was it turkish roulette uh, Russian roulette was looking good I know that um, yeah Russian roulette so I'm not sure if this was on this particular casino I seem to remember this was the one table that wasn't on here which uh, does suck one win Russian roulette is that the same number no that oh 13 11 okay it is it's this one here that's gone to 17 right okay let's give this one a try so you see lots of zeros and ones uh, I'm going to go straight in. The neighbours needs to be set to 9 and see if I can get that on 17. There we go. So, <laughs> this is where we're at. Uh, let's have a bit of volume. And, uh, yeah, so we're betting on the highlighted section. So between 23 and 26, everything in that green highlight is where we're covering. So that's gone to 36, so that's right there. That's given me the first win. So what I'm gonna do is put a W here, and then we're gonna to step to the right, okay? You either step up or right, um, depending on what uh, what the deal is. So that's 36, so I'm gonna put the bet on number 36 this time, like this. So I'm putting the neighbor's bet on 36, covering nine numbers to the left, nine numbers to the right, which is all of those highlighted numbers there. And again, I'm gonna go for the goal of making another $50 profit. So let's see where this goes. That is looking flawless, number six. So that is right there in the section. We'll put another W there. So I'm already at 17 profit. Uh, now I'm going to put the neighbour on number six. So we're still sticking to 
uh, a single unit per number, okay? So if we get a loss, we step down and we increase the unit size by one on each loss. And every time we get a win, we uh, decrease it by one unit until we're back to the top, which uh, we haven't had a loss yet. I'm sure it will happen, but um, it's a very nice signature. Look, big block of zeros there, which means highlighted, 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 highlighted. Now we've got the unhighlighted. So that's gone to uh, number one, which is a loss. So we'll put an L there. In fact, let me put a nice capital L, make it nice and visual. So I'm stepping down to two units per number, okay? So I'm gonna put that on number one, and we are going to go one, two. And you can see here, she did have a few depths of one, so it was a zero at first, zero, zero, one, one, then a whole block of zeros. But don't think that that means that the dealer is fixed on zeros or the highlighted section forever. Uh, what I do is always analyze if suddenly she starts hitting the unhighlighted section, she might have switched up what she's doing. Uh, and that seemed a, a bit of an unlucky spin. It did land around 16, but it just carried all the way around to 19. So that's going to be another loss. So I'm going to go to three units per number. And as I always explain, if I get three consecutive losses, I will stop what I'm doing and analyze the dealer because if she has changed what she's doing then that could cause a problem because uh, you know especially if you find a consistent dealer and they change what they're doing they will probably still be very consistent and you will be betting in the wrong area but that's looking good that's gone to number 17 so we'll put a w there and now we're going to step up okay now because there's an l there we step to the right and I'm gonna do two units per number. Okay, two units per number, and that is on number 17, like this. And our current profit is at $14. Like I said, my goal is to get to um, $50 profit again. I did 53 earlier today, and I did two sessions yesterday, making uh, $100 as well. So you can see that land around 26, or just after. That is just after. Zero is good. We will take that. So that's another win there. So we'll put the W. And now we're stepping up. So we're on the initial bet again, which is one unit per number. And we're $31 in profit. And I'll just put the single unit size bet on number zero. So again, we want to see this land zero side of the wheel. Or the voisson, as they call it. <laughs> okay, it's gone exactly the opposite side. It's gone to number 10. So we will put an L there and we're gonna step down. And of course there's a W there, so I'm gonna step to the right and we're gonna do two units per number and that will be on 10, one, two. So this time we want to see it land on this tier section between 9 and 34. But if you look at the depth count, 12 and 5. So it is looking good. Stop. Yeah, I don't know. That looked a bit fishy, but it is what it is. Let's put another L there. Now we're back down to three units per number. So we've had four wins, four losses. I'm going to do three units per number on 29. So we're going to go one, two, three. And as I said, if I get three losses in a row, which would be this one, I would stop and watch this dealer for a bit and uh, see if she has changed what she's doing. Um, and if she has, then I will either adjust but we're okay, 29 back to 29. We'll either adjust what we're doing or we will uh, find a new table. So I'm gonna step up to two units per number again. And that's on 29, so we're gonna go one, two. So you can see here, she went from zero, zero, one, one, then loads of zeros, then went to a depth of two, zero, then a depth of two again. So when you see this happen, it is probably best to start 
watching the dealer a bit because she might have changed her pattern and uh, that's what these tools are for just to an uh, analyze these dealers but that's pretty good that's gone to 22 again so that's given me the win there and now I'm at 45 so I just need to get one more win to achieve my target and I am on the initial bet one unit per number again so I'm going to put that on 22 and you can see here she she has done this pattern before so it's zero then a depth of two zero then a depth of two now zero I'm hoping she carries on with the zeros and doesn't do that uh, depth of two again but we'll see you can see that lands zero or after Oh, that's beautiful. Lovely, lovely ping back there. So that went to number 28, which has given me the win. And that's pretty much done a very similar pattern to earlier today. Um, pretty much the same distance as well. I wouldn't mind comparing the, the two uh, charts there. I did leave it at the beginning of this video, so we'll be able to skip back and have a look. But that's given me another 53.50 profit. I got seven wins, four losses, pretty much exactly the same as earlier so don't forget guys if you want to download this spreadsheet go on to roulette calculators and in the download section you will be able to download the spreadsheet from here if you want to access the tools within roulette calculators it's also a social network um, then you can chat to other players on there it has got the uh, instant messaging chat I've disabled that for my gameplay so I'm um, not uh, not doing it. I've just seen a message. Kirk Chamberlain, the step system spreadsheet is great. Thank you. You're very welcome, buddy, if you're watching this. Uh, I'll have a look at the comments in a second and I'll update them. So uh, that's the uh, episode. Is this episode five? I think episode five or four. I can't remember. I've started uploading <laughs> quite a few of them. But anyway, that is the roulette calculator step system. Again, second session of the day. I'll upload that and have that scheduled for uh, the, the next video. By the way, I'm posting the videos at 1 p.m. UK time every day. I'm trying to do two, at least two sessions a day so that I can get ahead of myself and schedule them up. So I'm like a month in advance so I can uh, relax a little bit and not worry about missing a day. So take care, guys. And as always, please bet smart. Oh, before I go, my balance is uh, 341.20. Uh, as I mentioned, I took this up from eight, uh, $80. Uh, dollars, and this is, I believe this is session five. OK, anyway, I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bet smart. Subscribe now.